so i had decided that i was going to do vlogmas but it seems like it's now an aborted project because i just realized that my life is so boring if i have never told you this before but hey guys i am a recluse and most of the time i spend my days my weekends and holidays in the house so there's nothing interesting going on in my life i don't go out i don't drink i don't smoke i don't have friends so i thought if i did vlogmas it would be like watching paint dry so i decided you know what i'm just going to put out this video it's not a vlogmas but it was supposed to be a vlogmas so with all this footage that's been sitting on my phone so i decided let me just put it into somewhat a day in my life i know i'm not a day in my life type of fan because my channel is still tiny and nobody knows me so i thought i don't think it's going to hurt if i do release this video and show you a snippet of how my day is like when i wake up in the morning my morning routine and when i'm with my sister what we get up to so um i don't know so sit back relax and get yourself bored out of your mind so enjoy So I'm going to bath and this part you can see. Yeah, so I am done taking a shower. Now I need to apply some petroleum jelly on my body. Usually I use, let me show you, um, Johnson's baby jelly. I love this one, not because it smells great or it smells like a baby, but uh, it's also, I don't know, it keeps my skin really really soft and smooth i grew up using vaseline okay let me i do it i grew up using vaseline and um for some reason i kind of like gravitated towards uh johnson's baby jelly and um i use it everywhere on my body so first i would use it on my face so this is how much i take for my face And apply it on my beard oh by the way i haven't shaven or cut my hair since the since the beginning of lockdowns in march um i'm not kind of like trusting um barbers at this point in time so until the vaccination has been rolled out to everybody by the end of 2021 Maybe then I will start cutting my hair again, but I did cut my beard though um, A cousin of mine kind of like was like hey, you're looking like a rabbi and uh, I was also worried about germs and things like that because if you keep your beard too long uh, It does collect germs and as a germaphobe, I was like oh get this thing off me after applying um, almost said Vaseline because in South Africa Petroleum jelly is Vaseline. For some reason, that's what we do, but then me... But I have to give credit where credit is due, so I will then apply the Johnson's baby jelly on my body, starting with my neck. Um... I'm not sure why I have like two shades of uh, skin color. If you look at my neck, it's kind of like dark and then my body suddenly gets all light and it does get dark elsewhere as well. Um, 
I don't know, maybe because when I was a teenager and I had pimples, I used to like um, scrub my face and my neck. Remember Oxy? What was it called again? I think it was Oxy or something of that nature and there was clean and clear and there was man I used them all because I had a very bad case of acne into my adulthood until I started using Garnier you see the Garnier product that I used usually I would use that was a facial wash it's a scrub and then there's this three in one as well but it is a mask it is a facial wash as well as uh, a scrub so ever since I started using the Garnier products, uh, things got really, really um, better for my face to this point right now. I'm very happy with how my skin looks because I had that problem until I was 33 years old, 33, 34 years old when I discovered Garnier. I think, let's do justice, Garnier. And then, of course, I apply it on my arms. I know my arms look, like, moisturized and everything. It's because I use a lot of vas of petroleum jelly on my body. So my body kind of, like, exudes um, the shine, I suppose. Whatever way you want to call it. So, obviously, I can't apply else everywhere else while the camera is rolling. So... For the purposes of not getting flagged by YouTube, I'm just going to leave it on the upper body. Then after that, I would apply this roll-on. It's a Nivea Fresh Mask. Uh, the reason why I like this one is because it's, it's not overbearing in terms of odor as well as uh, doesn't make my clothes to be white under the armpit. Yep. Uh, if you're a guy, Get this one, very good for you. So, um, unfortunately, I am allergic to cologne. So if your cologne is too sweet, I get migraines or migraines, whichever way you pronounce it, I call it migraines. And um, so I was told that I'm allergic to colognes. So I then alternate colognes with uh, deodorant and I'm going to show you what deodorant I use. Usually I use two, the other one is finished and I'll show you the one that I'm currently using. They are quite gentle to me and they're not overbearing as well. So, yep, this is what I use. One of the two is Status Strong Legend. This particular one, it smells... If this one is finished, then I get English Blazer Black. I've been using English Blazer Black since I was 13 years old in high school when I discovered that I am allergic to colognes. Basically, the doctor was like, find something that you will feel comfortable wearing. And I found English Blazer Black and I've stuck with it for the longest time. Just recently, Status then came with this brand. And I kind of got stuck with it as well. So Status, make sure that you don't change this. Stick, stick around for the longest time because some of us who are allergic to colognes, we need this. We need this. Okay, thank you. So, of course, um, yeah, guys, so that is the end of my morning routine. Uh, right now, after I'm done dressing up, I am going to make some breakfast and then sit down and watch the news. Usually, I flip through news channels between SABC, ENCA, Newsroom. Then I go to international newsrooms like CNN and BBC. Sometimes I will go to Sky, but I hardly ever go to Sky. It's always CNN or BBC. So I kind of get to know what's going on in the world. And then after that, I then start doing other things that I need to do today. Today, actually, my sister and I are going, we are going grocery shopping. It's not for Christmas. It's just for general stuff and all, you know, after Christmas and everybody has kind of like ravaged all your groceries. We usually buy reserves for January. So that is what we are going to do today. We are going to buy January reserves. 
so that is what we are going to be doing today and i will take you along with me so just stick around so i'll show you and places that i like to shop at with my system oh and i also like applying the petroleum jelly on my lips kind of like keeps them nice and soft general Mm -hmm. so yeah guys that's the end of my morning routine this is what i do every morning and every evening before i go to bed and um so yeah let's go make breakfast Hey guys, so I'm finally in the car. My sister has arrived. Say hello to everybody. That's my sister. She's the last born in the family. And as you know, last born that can be a headache. She was supposed to be at one and she came here at five past one and she's like, I'm on time. But anyway, so we're going to start at Johannesburg International Airport, which is called Oartambo anyways. And she wants to get me into trouble with YouTube, with copyright, we want to play music in the car, but that is not allowed. So we'll start at the airport from there and then we're going to do our reserve grocery shopping. Um, not sure where we're going to be going to. Where are we going to go to? I don't know. Clearly we don't know. I think we might end up at Africa Mall or Mall of Africa. What is it called again? Mall of Africa? Yeah, I think it's Mall of Africa. And uh, that's why we'll do our reserve grocery shopping. And um, yeah, let's see each other there. Yo, guys, we finally arrived. We at the mall, the Mall of Africa, at the parking lot. So my sister just wound up the window, and I lost um, light because we're in the parking lot underground. But I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it don't there she is. 
she's the one who was driving so apparently i'm driving when we're going back anyways so we'll see each other when we are in the mall I have to put the mask on, otherwise we can't get in without the mask. And so I have my cap on, as you can see it's written too strong. That's my brother's brand. So I kind of like put a jacket on because it gets cold sometimes inside malls because with all the ventilation and stuff, even though it's summer. Say hi to everyone. Hi. In my pocket. Yes. To sanitize. Mm. So we are at the mall, Mall of Africa, and uh, so we'll be doing our thing. And you should take the a lighting picture. here is this horrible. How is it horrible when you're upstairs here? You should take a picture that you're at the mall. Yeah, I am. I'm going to take like several stuff. She showed the background there. I can't wait to walk into this I'm ice going store. to be shopping here very soon, the ice okay. store. Like the girls are in. Like, yeah, the girls are in. Like they are fighting towards. I'm sure. What happened to this place? I don't know. But it needs to be open on any side. There must be another side because then I don't know how this is going to show up. There's an ocean basket. What's that place that sells burgers? It's always busy and packed. Burgers? Steers? Yeah, not steers, man. There's something there must be another entrance. As you can see, the map of Africa floating in the water. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take a picture. Before we start doing some shopping, we decided to eat. We are at Ocean Basket at uh, Mall of Africa. As you can see, if you look on the inside, we deliberately chose this table because of some little nature in the background. As well as um, the shade because out of the blue, the sun came out and um, kind of hot. So this is the shadiest part of the restaurant, Ocean Basket. Um, so I felt something... I felt like eating something from the sea. So, I mean, I love seafood. So I um, kind of convinced my sister to come to Ocean Basket. What do you want? Chips or rice? Uh, chips. Chips are fine. And then a Coke. Yeah, a Coke. And I want to try your mocktail. This is non alcoholic mess. So, this is what I chose, guys. A mocktail or cocktail. For, I know it looks because. big. It's because I also want to take some home for dinner. So, these are the choices on the menu. One friend who. Make it grow. I chose is the full deck platter. This one right here. 
Yeah, it's fine. For and now. then you have other choices, of mm -hmm. course. Actually, you can take one of the these. Are, these are the sushi. These are the sushi choices. Which one did you choose? I, I, I thought this was gonna be too overwhelming because last time we didn't even finish that and I know myself so okay. okay, miss opportunity for a sushi there. I'm not a sushi person but when I am given the opportunity I do partake in eating sushi. Though it's not like my favorite of faves. All right, so that's the menu you will get at Ocean Basket. I think across the country. And these are the, I don't know, these are desserts. Oh, they look amazing. I love desserts. Oh, these two milkshakes, amazing. For a drink, of course, uh, dumb. Can somebody please give me advice how to quit coke? I'm talking about this, this. Um, I really need to quit this. I love it. I love your coke. But um, considering the fact that I need to lose some weight, the belly especially, this has to go. Always Coca Cola. I used to love that song. <laughs> and this is my sister's drink. What do you call this? Strawberry Decorate Virgin, non alcoholic. Okay, we are a family of non alcoholics. So I think. Let me take a picture. Okay guys, this is the magic that just arrived. The ocean is here. Oh my god, everything just looks perfect. Exactly the way I love it. So, of course, my sister and I are sharing this platter. It's not just for me, but I'm sure we are going to take some... Uh, I'm sure we're going to take doggy bags, right? Are we going to finish all this? I don't know. It depends. Well, I plan on finishing a lot of it. <laughs> ah, this is great. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It must be more than two people because there's no way. I want to eat what I eat there. And there ain't no trouble about being bad here. The Zulus are here. And even, even one man. I haven't been to a lot of places in a lot of time. Do you regret coming here? Mm -mm. Yeah, you like coming here. I don't. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't even have a reason why. I just don't. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's even dripping. Yeah, it's okay. The more it drips, the more I'm happy.
These jalapenos, they look incredible. I like this one with this red jalapeno. I'm not gonna eat this because I know last time I didn't finish this. I did not finish this. I actually did. But, but you're gonna give me maybe 10 from your pack. They are so thick though. That's why I'm saying I won't finish this on my own. You can share this. Habaneros. Oh, I know this is like ooh. and these ones they look dangerous. I actually like the red apples than I do. Can I exchange this bag? This is going to take forever because I don't like green apples. And more apples. And more apples. More and more apples. And more apples. <laughs> and then they got these juices that they made from carrot. Obviously pineapple, carrot and pineapple. What are these lemons? Oranges. How about this one? And then you have these plums now in season. Um, this is the price. $29.95 and then you got this peach they look yummy also $29.95 evergreen baby and then you have apricots These look absolutely incredible. Oh wow, this is actually 19 Rand 95. And then interestingly, I like I like red apples, but I love green grapes. <laughs> look how incredible they look. And they cost 19 Rand 95. If you have never been to Evergreen before, I recommend that you do. Okay, then we have Ace Maze Mule, which is at 88 Rand 95. This place is affordable, no? 12,5. Stuff from the sea. Hi again. Have you ever seen something this beautiful, people? You have like croissants and these banana cakes. Let me just check. Come on. Oh, this one is orange. Hmm, never seen orange before. I don't need banana. It's 50 assorted loaves. Madeira loaf. I don't even know what that is. Come on, 
Which one? You should try Zara Shop Rides. We bought this bread before, remember? This one is banana flavor. There is the greens. Sometimes I'm very skeptical about cakes. I know milk tart, you can't go wrong with the milk tart. This one looks amazing. Whatever it is, it looks gorgeous. So are these ones. And then we get to my favorite. Let's just stop for a moment and just give worship to this. Worship. Bowing. Bowing. Yes, Coca Cola. Yes. So they are saying. Coca-Cola buy five for hundred rand. What do you think I'm going to do? Of course I'm gonna do that. Evergreen, I love you. Okay, they're a little bit no, I don't like warm. I want them cold. Hey, what's up? Now we're leaving Evergreen. So we kind of like wait to be checked out by the security. You show them this receipt of all these things that you bought. Emma? Carrots? Yeah. How many? Five. So we are giving these carrots for free, but you're only allowed to take five. So I'm just busy choosing. Time to go back home. Done some. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah. Where? I want to tell some planes. Going to spend money. I I know I have luck. Eh? What do I? What do we need? I don't know. I'm standing in a queue for a competition or some sort. I'll show you. We spin a wheel or some sort. And I'm not sure what we win. I'll see when I get to the front. I'll take you through the experience. Okay, you enter by having a slip with you. So I'm in the queue right now. So we're in the queue. That is something we'll do there. Spin that wheel. I suppose you choose a color or something. It looks like we win apples. Mm. Is this worth it though? Oh my god. I'm about I'm next. Hello. Just two colors. Two colors. Uh, red. Would, huh? red. Red, and I'll take purple. White, I think. <laughs> what color did you choose? Purple. Uh, That's, yeah. it. <laughs> That's it. You can get something. Anything. Oh, get something. Just one item. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We, so we win either this. 
Oh, this? What? I don't know what these are. What are these? There's like matches. What's this? So basically, you win an apple, no money, nothing. My goodness, imagine if it was 5,000 Rand you win. And I chose <laughs> And you chose red. red. Oh, whatever, because it was almost there. I said red, I just knew red is coming. So my sister chose red and red was the chosen color and we won apples. More apples for us. How exciting is evergreen? You come, you win apples, you get carrots and you exit. You win. Oh, we won. I basically won red. So in case you're wondering what happened with her change. You get points, you do it all. So come along. In case you're wondering what happened with the change of wardrobe, she spills something on herself and she always has a set of clothes in the car. In the car, so she changed. <laughs> she has wigs, weaves, you name it, all in the car. So we winners today. Wow! Now it's home time. We're gonna have a savannah, non-alcoholic. You will taste. It just tastes like I don't know. Just yeah, like, taste it because I've never drank so bad. Oh, alcohol for that matter. So, but it's not alcoholic. if it's non alcoholic, because I used to buy it when it was level, level five, level five. There's no way my mouth was dying if it was alcoholic. In South Africa, where a drink, a beverage is non alcoholic, you are not in South Africa. I'm telling you, no it's way. This is a country of drunkards. <laughs> I'm terrible at packing and packing and wrapping. It's never been my yeah, thing. Hopeless. Yeah, I mean, I'm not good with my hands. I need to get my beard cut. I'm looking more and more like Santa Claus. It's Christmas after all, why are you complaining? A black Santa! <laughs> Okay, as we leave the grounds off. See how sweaty I am, my goodness. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Sharp. Oh, you see, end your vlog. We are done. Evergreen is done. We have. We I'm doing come. vlog, must not a vlog. We're gonna, we're gonna still come back here because we still need more groceries but today uh -uh. 